In this video, we're going to talk about input validation. You may have noticed in the dice game that the game is expecting the user to type in a number from 1 to 6. If they don't type in a number from 1 to 6, the game doesn't give any feedback. So we're going to implement a way to detect if the user has typed in something other than the numbers 1 through 6 and give feedback in the gray box if that's the case. Let's quickly review the JavaScript syntax data types that we've dealt with so far. Booleans, which are a true or false value. Numbers, which are numbers. And then strings, which are collections of characters. So Boolean is either a true or a false value. Numbers are a series of digits. Strings are a set of characters between quote marks. And these data types are defined by the kinds of operations that are involved in these types. Boolean expressions result in a Boolean value. I can do math operations to numbers and I can add together strings with the plus sign. If I have a string value and I want to make it into a number value, then I use this syntax. I call the number function and the result is a number value. So notice that uh, the first example is the character 2, and the resulting value is the number 2. What would happen if I took the string hello, the characters H-E-L-L-O, and passed that into the number function? What I would get out is a special JavaScript value called not a number. Let's try that now. Not a number is a special kind of value in JavaScript that you get back when you're trying to manipulate a number value, but JavaScript doesn't know what to do. So this is also the case if I try to multiply hello times three. It's also the case when I try to divide zero by zero. Not a number is one of the kinds of values that represents a lack of value inside the JavaScript language. The other one you may have seen so far is called undefined. And that's the value when you have an absence of value. So I have this variable that I just created using a var keyword. And right now the container of the variable is empty, so it holds no value. So if I type in the name of the variable and I want to see what's inside of it, JavaScript tells me that the value inside of the variable is undefined. Now we're halfway to the logic we need in order to detect if the user has typed in a number in the input box of our dice game. So if they've typed in a number, then this conversion goes fine. We can put it into the number function. But there's no logic that we can write to detect the output value of this has been properly converted. We can, however, detect that if they've typed in something that creates this NAN value, we can write a conditional around that. There's one more problem, however, which is the fact that when we make this conversion, we can't write a Boolean equality check for this. So when I write the equals NAN, then I should get the, true val uh, the value true because the result of this conversion is NAN. But this Boolean operation of equality here in JavaScript doesn't work. So we need a workaround for this. The workaround is the built-in JavaScript function called isNAN. And we pass in a value, and if it's NAN, it returns true. Let's try that out now. <laughs> 